Before playing Liverpool at Old Trafford, Solskjaer was under intense pressure and his job was under some serious scrutiny. Fast forward three games and say it quietly, but United are showing signs of building some sort of momentum. Started with a draw against Liverpool, followed by two consecutive away wins and three goals in one game. Christ Almighty against Norwich. But are United building momentum? What's changed in the last week or so? And what's next for United and for Solskjaer? We're going to discuss that in today's video and I want to know what you think about that. So let me know in the comments below. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. But let's discuss United at the moment. You know me by now. I'm a bit of an optimist. Maybe to a fault. But I just want to see United and Solskjaer succeed at the club. And the last three games have brought some much needed positive energy back into a club which really hasn't had much of it over the last six years. But it all started with that Liverpool performance. You know, we didn't get the win, but it was a class performance against a Liverpool side who had won 17 consecutive Premier League games. And other than a defensive lapse at the end, we may have won the game. And we went into that game in such bad form, Solskjaer under so much pressure and Liverpool flying so high that everybody thought we were going to get annihilated. Me too. I thought it was going to be 3-1 Liverpool. It wasn't. And fans were asking, can we build on that? Partizan, we won for the first time away from home in over 200 days, away in Belgrade, which isn't an easy trip. Now, the performance itself was largely horrendous, absolutely horrific. But United got the result. We finally won the away game and we put that awful record to bed. And then Norwich happened. And Norwich built... If you combine the excellent performance against Liverpool with the victory against Partizan, you've got Norwich. Three goals in one game, could have been five or six, but we missed two penalties. Tim Krul made a couple of good saves as well. United were free-flowing against Norwich. So in the last three games, we've won two and we've drawn one against Liverpool. And as I said, that's much needed after what has been a horrendous start to the season. Now, the caveat to these results is obvious. It was only Partizan Belgrade, it was only Norwich, who have been largely atrocious this season. Lost 5-1 at home to Aston Villa. But United have been equally as atrocious, and you can only beat the teams in front of you. And we've gone and done that in the last two games. Two different types of performances, but two wins nevertheless. And the thing that I feel is different there in comparison to Moyes or Van Gaal or Mourinho, when it got towards that time where you felt... United just aren't going to do anything now. And the games and the performances became predictable under those managers. That hasn't been the case in the last three games. The players have been playing for Solskjaer. And it seems like they have belief in him still. And I do as well. Again, maybe I'm a dumbass optimist. But I can't help it. And these last three games have shown me that maybe there's more to come that we didn't expect. But what has changed in the last few performances for United to finally get some wins and good results, where previously we were just losing games. One major difference has happened in the last two games, and that's the return of Anthony Martial. The Athletics' Laurie Whitwell has written an excellent piece on exactly this, and how the partnership of Rashford and Martial offers United some real excitement going forward. Because they were so dangerous together. It was 3-1, but it could have been, it should have been 5-1 with both of their penalties, but could have been 6 or 7 with the other opportunities that we've had. Rashford is a far better player when Martial is on the pitch. And as Laurie explains in his article, their link-up play, which was fantastic against Norwich, especially for that third goal, which was one of the best moments of proper class and quality from United this season when we've lacked it so much. But their link-up play will be crucial to United breaking down teams with deeper line defences. And in the upcoming games against, say, Brighton, or maybe Sheffield, depending on how they play, United are going to need that. And that is a big reason why Martial is so important. But as I said, his return allows Rashford to operate on the left-hand side where he's so much better running at a fullback, running at a centre-back with pace, rather than being more of an isolated striker. That's not work for Rashford. What does work is having Martial to play off. They seem to link up with each other well. They move correctly. They move differently. And with James as well, that's a good front three. 
Maybe we have 4-3-3 as a formation we should be playing with. Martial up front, Rashford on the left and James on the right. It's certainly worked against Norwich. And the return of Martial has been so important for me in the last two games. He obviously got the penalty against Partizan and scored against Norwich too. But he just changes the shape of our attack far, far better with him in the side than we are without him. I mean, look at the stats. United with Martial and United without Martial under Solskjaer. It's all been comparable. That's how important he is to this United setup. And his return, helping Rashford, giving us more shape, that's a massive change that's happened. Now, I would encourage you to go and read the full article by Laurie Whitwell on Martial and Rashford. The link is in the description. Remember, you can get 50% off an annual subscription on The Athletic with United People's TV, ad-free, top draw writers, including Laurie, including Andy Mitten, who we've interviewed, including Daniel Taylor, who's just come across, and David Ornstein as well. Lots on The Athletic, so follow the link in the description. But Martial's return has made a massive difference. And it made one huge change in our game against Norwich. And that's the fact we actually killed a game of football. Even at 2-0 against Norwich, I didn't have complete confidence in United to see it out. Had Norwich got one back and made it 2-1, United fans would have just taken a nervous breath and it would have been a horrible end to the game, but we didn't. We sat deeper, we hit on the counter, and Martial made the difference with what was an absolutely astoundingly nice, astoundingly good finish. And we killed the game. Last 15 minutes, yes, there was a lapse of concentration like there was against Liverpool when we did concede, but it was 3-1, it didn't matter. That's what we've got to do more often. We need that second goal. First, only the second time in 21 games we score more than one goal. That is hopefully the start of a habit that we're going to build because we need that. Solskjaer needs that. United need that cushion in games. We only, well, we're not conceding that many, but I still don't have the complete confidence. We're getting these defensive lapses in concentration against Liverpool and against Norwich. That's why we need two goals. And that was such a big difference against Norwich that we hadn't done in such a long time. But of course, this is only three games and it is only Partizan and Norwich. What's coming up for United? What's next? Well, if you take a look at United's next six fixtures, there's a massive, massive opportunity for Solskjaer here. Chelsea in the cup, that's the hardest fixture. We've got Bournemouth away in the league. Bournemouth's form has been questionable after a strong start to the season. Partizan at home, Brighton at home, Sheffield United away, Arsenal lost there. That won't be that easy. Then Astana. But United have built themselves into a position in the Europa League now with two wins that we can rest players. We can rotate in those games. It's the League Cup game against Chelsea. We can rotate there. You've got to be looking at these games and those matches against Bournemouth, against Brighton and against Sheffield as a substantial opportunity for United to sort of put the first few months of this season behind us. Because... The table's close enough at the, at the moment that we've jumped from 15th to 7th after one win. We can do the same again with a few wins under our belt. And these fixtures represent a huge opportunity for United and Solskjaer and the players to put the first few months of this season down as a bad memory and to kick on. And for this, what is it, second quarter of the season to be a hell of a lot better than it was in the first quarter. Look. United have had their worst start to the Premier League for 30 years. But we're above Tottenham Hotspur. We're three points behind Arsenal. And we've got a better goal difference than both of them. It has been a horrendous start. But this season's not over like some people I think will have you believe. There's a lot of negativity going around and a lot of it is fair. And the criticism is fair. But if we're so quick to criticise, we have to be quick, I think, to praise as well. And I've seen a response in these last three games that show me these players haven't given up yet. Like they did under Mourinho, like they did under Van Gaal, like they did under Moyers. There's fight left. And there should be. Because United are better than 15th with this squad. Even with Paul Pogba injured until December. McTominay's come through. Fred had probably his best game in the United shirt against Norwich. There's positives now. Whereas previously, it was all negative. And three games, 
that's not going to change anything. But hopefully it can mark a turning point that United can actually build on. Chelsea next in the cup. Stamford Bridge, horrendous ground. But United won there comfortably under Solskjaer. Maybe we can have another performance like that. That's not the most important one, though. It's Bournemouth at the weekend. It's Sheffield United. It's Brighton. It's the Premier League. That's where Solskjaer and United need results. And we've got two in a row. A draw against Liverpool and a good win against Norwich. We need to build this momentum and keep it going. Because the pressure will come straight back on United and Solskjaer if we don't. But let me know what you think about United's last three performances. As I said, Liverpool, Partizan and Norwich. Do you think that's the start of a momentum shift for United? Or is it just three games? Two games against really inferior opposition and it's all going to come falling apart again against Chelsea. And when we play the better teams. Let me know how you're feeling. But as I said, I'm an optimist. And I've seen something in the last few games that show me this team is ready to get better because we couldn't really be any worse than we were going into that Liverpool game. But there's been performances from individuals and the team as a collective and the return of Martial that mean we're heading into these games, I think, with some real positivity. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Are United on the up or are we all about to go crashing down again? Let me know what you think. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and make sure you follow that link in the description to join The Athletic with our link, 50% off or more could you want. Take it easy, everybody.